phone was updating. I hope this comes out in one piece. This is the hat that uh, my co-worker Paul dropped off to me that my supervisor gave to him to give to me, which is which is nice. He knows I like these hats. I got one that's pretty worn out. I shouldn't say pretty worn out. The nice hat's comfortable. It's seen plenty of battles. See, I'm trying to get this uh, curve out. You know, I live upstate, and that's, that's a big fucking thing with baseball hats up here. They say uh, the more curve it has, the bigger a red ne redneck you are. Why would you want that? You know, I don't, I don't want that. They keep trying to bend it out. You know. Once you wash these fucking things in the machine, eh, it's all over. They start shredding. It's my company, baby. My company. I decided tonight on the menu, on the menu tonight, I mean, I got it, I might as well have, I was gonna have fucking macaroni. Nah. Probably have some more uh, roasted chicken. I still got leftover corn and uh, buy us some mashed potatoes. I got a jar of uh, uh, beef gravy on the uh, on the shelf. Mashed potatoes with gravy. For lunch, I had a half a bagel at uh, at Hatfield uh, Live Wish again. It's good. It really is good. I really like it. Half the price of Boar's Head. On the soap opera front, uh, I see Scotty's all fucking long. Nah, nah. I haven't seen her all fucking weekend. It's over. It's over. I think his fucking ship is coming at the dock. He's getting ready to fucking throw anchor. Oh shit. Shit. Hey, you gotta feel sorry for the guy, right? I don't. Too bad. Looks, looks fucking desolate, though. is that the word? Compared to what the front of his apartment used to look like. I think he's still hanging in there though, because he got a fucking pumpkin. He got a fucking pumpkin. A white pumpkin. He must have spray painted it, you know? He's got a fucking pumpkin out there. American flag. Looks like he's making a pile of shit for her to come and fucking take it. She has him back. Now his fucking reality is going to be kicking in. Poor fucking guy. What the fuck else I do? I paid uh, the bill, mail two out. Still don't get that bag of sugar. Eh. Give me something to do tomorrow. I say, oh, I don't need milk. There was something else. Oh, that the wobbly wobblies wool wool uh wobblies wobblies horseradish sauce in the fucking squirt bottle. I was gonna get that because uh. The one I had in the fridge was a couple of years old. It still tasted good. <laughs> Threw it out. 
Yeah, you know the fucking jaw. Tops has a variety of them. They got like a, I don't know, some fucking pink version of it. Like a mustard version of it. I don't know. I don't use them much. I put on chicken. I hear the door. You think the fucking guy would uh, hitch right up? You think he'd do some fucking work? Make money? Take care of the landlady. Just fucking taking care of him with the rent, you know what I mean? Fucking discount. People are funny, man. I don't know. He's fucking funny. Scotty's sad. Ron's a fucking nut. I didn't see him yet. He left late today, about, uh, I don't know, cause, oh, cause I, I left to do my thing at eight o'clock. As I'm coming from Dobbs on uh, 26, I see him going, come the other way. He wasn't paying attention because he almost fucking hit me. I could tell cause it's the car that his uh, daughter gave him, had that fucking dent in the front. Uh, oh, an update. Uh, I've been watching on YouTube. I just came across the guy, and he's, he's fucking funny. He's fucking funny. Uh, my script garage. Now, I'm not a mechanic, nor do I inspire to be a mechanic, but this guy, he acts like he's silly, but he's, he's, he's incredibly knowledgeable with mechanics. He travels the country, and he buys fucking run down vehicles, he throws a couple of bucks in them, and he drives them home. He's funny, he makes me fucking laugh, and it takes a lot to make me laugh. If you don't know it about me, I'm telling you now, it takes a lot to make me laugh. Well, fucking Scotty, he's got the magic, he makes me fucking laugh, but uh, yeah, Vice Grip Garage, check it out. I subscribed. I subscribe to uh, Far Point Farms. I saw he's gonna fucking load a, uh, start up another channel just for automotive stuff. Uh, well, sometimes you don't make fucking sense. Well, then why don't you make a separate channel for CBs, make a separate channel for shortwave, make a separate channel for gardening, make a separate channel for your running lawnmowers, which you call running tractors and lawn tractors. Make another channel for, you know, uh, the fucking, uh, you know, how you have chickens and roosters and hens, the farm part of your thing. Make another channel, all the stuff that companies fucking give you. They send you a fucking drill, sawzall, and shit. Yeah, we'll give you a fucking gift. Check it out. Do a video on it. You know, free gifts. <laughs> I mean, I, I really like the guy, you know, on that channel, but, man, it's, it's the way he fucking thinks. You know, like, way back, I, uh, I wrote to him, he was doing a life, life thing, and I'm a, because I'm a, uh, subscriber, I could talk, you know, message him. What happened to all the cigar reviews? You don't do them anymore. <laughs> he fucking writes me back that, uh, he's in partnership in town with some company of people or whatever. They ask him not to do them anymore. They don't like he promotes tobacco products. And he said he would stop. 
he's the guy who's always talking about freedom of press, freedom of free speech. He's against censorship. Well, that's fucking censorship when they say, the police don't do that anymore. And he says, oh, okay. His fucking channel, he should do what he wants, right? You see, I do. It's an old saying on Long Island, the fucking two-faced. Fucking two-faced. He also says, uh, in his defense, oh, you know, another reason is he really doesn't smoke as much as he used to. But yet he has said in other videos, he's been smoking cigars for fucking years. So, uh, you know. put shit in my mouth, I don't have to chew it, you know what I mean? So anyway, back to my cigars. Uh, maybe Nicaragua had a uh, bad season. Tornado, tornado or something. Because it just never, just never used to be. Jeez, I'm smoking these about, uh, Smoking these uh, right before I fucking retired. Year and a half. Only the last three times I, I tried to get them, that happened. But like I said, within like a week and a half they get them. I came across one, what's it called? Dark Horse? Jeez, I wonder if I could find the fucking channel. Uh, might be on the computer. The history. Uh, who was it? Was it JR? More famous. I think it was JR Cigars. A cigar seemed cheap in price. That, that's a fucking bad sign right there. <laughs> cheap in price. From Nicaragua. Nicaraguan wrapper, binder, and filler. Hand rolled. I'm thinking of fucking trying them out. Dark star, dark, dark black. Dark Hawk, something like that. I don't know. I don't like gambling with fucking cigars. Naturally, I hear Nicaragua. I'm all fucking upset, upset, all excited. Yeah, and anyway, I'm my fucking cup that who I usually deal with. A drone fucking hat. Never had him in stock. Now they got him in fucking stock. They don't have my cigars. We'll see. Even at that, it would like a little profile. Oh, this is, uh, I'm into the big jar of it, so it must be a uh, Folgers medium roast. Here's Scotty outside smoking and coughing. I think he's still fucking sleeping. One o'clock in the afternoon? Nah. God bless him, man. He never went back to drinking. He used to, he used to be. He, he told me, huh? he used to be a bad fucking drinker. I don't mean like getting to fist, fucking fist fights and shit, but lost his license a couple of times. I shouldn't be telling you people this. He said he used to weigh a lot too. He used to fucking pound a lot of pounds on him. Hard fucking boozer. Hasn't done it in fucking years. What was that? Fucking bird shit? Fucking squirrels throwing shit at me? 
I mean, how his life is. You know, fucking rubbing two nickels together to make milk. Fucking hand to mouth. Surprised he never did go back to drinking. God bless him. It's good he didn't. Fucking sweetheart, you know. I know I keep saying it, but... You know, when I talk about him, I'm fucking making fun of him. It's in fun, you know, it's a fucking... I got a channel here, we're having fun, right? I don't mean no harm. If you fucking knew me, you know, I don't mean no harm. I take that back. I don't mean no harm to certain people. The motherfucker upstairs... I mean harm and fucking Scott, uh, what's his name? Jeez, I forgot his name already. Ron. Ron and I, we're gonna get it on yet. Just like me and him upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna be fucking bolting him. Not, not in a good way. Wait a minute. That wouldn't be a good way anyway, right? Well, for them, not for me, but, uh, Let's go back to the other, other saying. We're gonna get it on yet. Nah, I didn't go for a fucking ride today. Thought maybe I'd go to uh, J.C. Penney see if they got uh, thick flannel shirts in yet for the winter. I'm fucking tired, man. I don't want to fucking drive. Not that I'll fall asleep at the wheel. I'm just fucking tired. Changed the sheets in my bed. I changed my fucking towel. It was a Sunday. I should wash my hair. Whatever fucking hair I got left. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't wash it. You notice, you know sometimes like fucking old alcoholic fucking bums and shit. Slobby looking. They got full heads of fucking hair. They need that? No, I fucking need it. It's like, what the fuck, man, you know? You know, guys that are already married, houses, kids, and everything, they're established. They got the love of their life. They don't fucking need the hair. Guys like me looking for a fucking broad, we need the fucking hair. So, let's see. What would be next? Next job to tackle. The sink in my bathroom. Right behind the sink with the sink, the uh, countertop, sink top meets the wall. It's fucking black, that fucking black. Because it's a converted barn, I think. We get that in the windows too. I fucking hit it with paint. I'm sure I did it before and it worked for a while. Just gotta match up the fucking color. Got white cardboard behind it. I don't see the black. Fucking idiot last night. You know, I swear. I think he's just fucking stupid, but I'm starting to think he's doing it on purpose. It's like he's staying up for three quarters of the fucking night just to piss me off. Go to the fucking landlady about him. Oh yeah, she'll fucking she'll fucking straighten his ass out. Like I said, well, even Scotty when he has a girlfriend, he has to uh, you know, see each other. Scotty, Ron, Mike, Sue in the back, you know. Mix, mismatch and mingle, you know. Say, hey, how's it going? Nice day. Yeah, it turned out nice. Hey, tomorrow's supposed to be cold. Oh, oh, you know. Fucking conversation. You can just fucking wait to each other. Okay, have a nice day. 
Let's see fucking Scotty's girlfriend. I'll see you later on. Okay, okay, doll, you know. It's a fucking courtesy, courtesy. This fucking guy puts on his fucking face. You gotta go over to him, grab his arm, put it behind him, lean him over his fucking car and start pulling on his fucking arm to get him to say hi. Fucking prick. There's always a bad apple in the fucking bunch, right? I wish he'd fucking move. Like I said, that drive, and they said it's a nasty fucking hill. A 40 minute drive each way. You see. He's on the verge of getting fucking fired anyway. Works at Walmart. They're very strict. He had like, they had five points against you, you're fired, four or five. You say he's got like fucking three or four. Gets rid of his fucking four wheel drive truck, he buys a fucking car. Yeah, start going down that fucking hill, you ain't stopping. First fucking two, three feet of snow, he's gonna call up, I can't make it to work. All right, don't fucking come back. Hopefully he fucking moves then. It's only 115, I can go for a fucking ride if I want to. No, I'm not getting Chinese. I'm not going to fucking, uh, Go to uh, pennies. Nah, I get there almost at like fucking two o'clock. Sixteen after one. Nah. Twenty-two minutes. fucking get it. People are fucking funny, man. People are fucking funny. You know, back to Scotty, you think you'd look for a fucking... Ah, shit. Why am I even... He had a perfect fucking job in a fucking hospital. The benefit. You think he'd fucking say... Jesus Christ, I'm 50 years old. I'm gonna need fucking benefits. God forbid something happens to me. He'll never fucking pay it back. He's gonna owe. And he'll he'll never fucking be able to pay it back. Collection agency will get on them. They'll get him. Wherever he does, wherever he fucking goes, they'll get him. If you got no fuck, he's got no credit as it is. Thank God I... Thank God I never went that fucking route. Hard times, yes, but not, not that route. <laughs> you know, you get the opportunity in life, you fucking take it. And you run with it. <laughs> the last job I worked at, Well, this was the second time I was there because uh, three days of uh, housekeeping. It was not what I thought it would be. Three different people was training me three different ways. So what the fuck? So they gave me a bunch of fucking s smelly fucking uniforms to, you know, put on. They weren't even fucking washed. Like, Jesus Christ. I had 
think I was overwhelmed too. I know what I mean. But the supervisor didn't want me to quit. She saw something in me. She said, I see you're a good worker. I don't want you to leave. Took me human resources, sat down and fucking talked. She left us alone and uh, she told me about the position that I worked for 13 and a half years and I fucking retired. But that time I got hired for that job. I knew. I said, I'm, I'm staying until I retire. My own sister even said, I didn't know you are gonna stay this time. I says, because I said it, I know I'm gonna stay, and I did. I stayed, I made my life up here, my pension, paying the bills, medical, dental, optical, Prescription coverage, paid vacation, sick time, personal. And this is where we stand, or sit rather. I paid my dues. I did what I was supposed to. I got a good fucking name, I know that. I want to go for a fucking loan, run my name in the computer. Oh yeah, Mr. Mr. Frank, yeah. People seem to like me. They see me out there, regular basis, you know, wherever the fuck I go. Poor fucking Scotty. The fucking goal of some people, you know. Him too. Him too. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I need help. Yeah, you need fucking help. 61 years old, never had a, a fucking driver's license. Rides a fucking bicycle with a fucking American flag on it. Get the fuck out of here. Run changes uh changes the caliper on the driver's side in the front changes the fucking the fucking uh <coughs> rotor rather the fucking rotor and a set of fucking pads on one side can't afford the other side what else, what else would it be because you don't do that you always change both what are you gonna do like oh i got i got a bad shock in the rear of my car you fucking change one no you don't do that this van is going with 300,000 on it. Things are starting to go wrong. You don't, you don't fucking see that coming. Porter gives him a fucking car. Right from the get-go, he's got problems with the fucking radiator. But if a fucking uh, head gasket leak. The van, the radio. Chicken? Some smells good.
this fucking van. Radiator. The car. Head gasket. <coughs> He's always under the hood of both fucking vehicles. Goes back and forth. Takes it in a <coughs> fucking fly by night. Mechanic has trouble getting the parts. Well, the mechanic, he doesn't deal with the computers. You know, it's, it's still, it's still uh, weird. Go to store and fucking people working, clerks. And, Cashiers and shit working. I go there, I don't know, maybe fucking three times, four times a fucking week. I got nothing to do, you know. They're working and I'm not. It's like, <coughs> I don't feel like I'm doing something wrong because I'm not. It's just fucking weird. <coughs> not working. No matter where I am, somebody's working, gas station, post office, fucking supermarket, dollar store. I don't, you know, I don't say, but I don't even look at them like, <clears throat> man, you sucker, you know, going to work. Girl in the back, and there she goes, yeah, yeah, going to work, yeah, sucker, working stiff, none of that, I don't fucking say that. <clears throat> you know why? Because I fucking did it too, I worked. And sometimes I do. I wish I was still working full time. Sometimes I wish I was still working even per diem what I was doing. That I didn't get fucking hurt. It's funny because being retired, you earned it, you know. You're at an age and you fucking earned it. You know. <clears throat> At first I felt guilty, like I'm doing something wrong. Nowadays it's like it grows on you, it's like I'm feeling like I'm punished, you know. Isolated. Not that, you know, when I was working, I was somebody. But you know what I mean? You work all fucking week. I was paid bi-weekly, but <clears throat> get your paycheck. The day you got your check. Or you predated, whatever. Get out of work. No. Stop at the bank and cash a check. Fucking weekend, you know. Do your wash and shop and whatever you want to do, you know. And on Monday, go back to work, back to the grind. You're using your mind, using your body, <clears throat> interacting with people. What I did for a living, so the fuck I did, interacting with people. Well, it's more than that, but. Ate good, slept good. Yeah, whatever. Fucking hacksaw blades. I thought they I would thought they were coming in the pack with a fucking three of them or something. Three dollars for one fucking blade? 
Is that right? You gotta read the fine fucking print, you know, to, to see what the fucking... Wait a minute, what am I saying? I guess all axle blades cut metal, right? What's this cut plastic to cut wood? Yeah, I'm really happy with getting that aluminum stock. See the price of stuff, some fucking metal? You know, something strong? Ah, oh, fuck. $17. What do I need, two of them to make up what I fucking need? And don't forget I had to measure the fucking length of the Jeep inside so I could fit what I was buying. Which I did. <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> Tell you about me. When I split, uh, I watch uh, for lunch. I watch uh, uh, Gunsmoke with my lunch. I put in the slot the computer that uh, whatever you call it, DVD fucking player. And for supper, I watch on YouTube. I watch uh, Bonanza. <laughs> and night I watch Voice of Mama Say. I'm telling you people about me. Like you care, right? Yeah, shit. Fucking surprised I didn't die yet. <clears throat> I've heard tell that uh, when you lose sleep, something about every night, every night you lose sleep, you lose a fucking day of your life. I'm probably gonna die tomorrow. Smell that? It smells good. Who the fuck's cooking? Scotty? It smells like a uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Which I should go back sometime because that was fucking kick ass, man. Scotty. He's all alone, Toddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's my landlady's home? But I gotta take some time before she trusts him to let him off the fucking leash. I understand, you know. She wanted a companion. What are you gonna fucking say, you know? But unfortunately, it's not me. <clears throat> Jeez, I hope she don't watch my channel. Yeah, but she does. Yes, yes. A very nice woman. Attractive. Got along with her for 14 fucking years. How long have I been living here? Uh, anyway, back to the... I'm jumping around. It's good to have the fucking extra blades anyway. <laughs> hacksaw blades. I got a fucking cheap uh, hacksaw. I don't think I... Did I ever buy that hacksaw? I don't know where I got it. <laughs> anyway, uh... You know, hacksaw is cheap ones. You, you tighten up the fucking blade. You can start using it. Bing, bing, bang. That's what that's what it sounds like. You yeah, pick up the pieces, put the fucking end back in squarely. It was a square. Tighten up the fucking blade, hold the blade, hold the end, and uh, fucking tighten it. Which way does the fucking blade? Sometimes you got blades that they don't show you no arrows. Which way is the fucking teeth supposed to go? You put it one way and like Jesus Christ, I can't cut nothing. Put it the other way. Ah, there it is. I got the blades laying in the passenger floor. I'll put them in the toolbox. <clears throat> I'll walk down the hill and then walk back. Here's my exercise for the day, huh? My poor fucking Myrtle. I let it go. So on the weekend I'm supposed to do this shit because they're not there. I don't fuck, fucking want them looking at me. He goes for breakfast. these fucking leaves out of here. On a happy
happy note. I haven't uh, heard from my sister or seen her since uh, we had the last uh, family get together. You want to call it that? So I think it's the only fucking ones left. Well, Kathy. Me, Kathy, Judy, Robin, and Frankie. Let's see. Susan and Lewis were cousins. Frankie and Robin are niece and nephew. I don't know if any boy's still alive. He jumped, jumped out of the fucking family scene many, many years ago. Many, many years ago. <clears throat> he was always, the joke in the family was, and this is many years ago, the joke in the family was, he was into making money. I mean, he was a nerdy looking guy, had fucking glasses, <clears throat> used to fucking read, <clears throat> Stay by himself. He wasn't interested in girls or nothing. I'm not saying he was gay. We used to go over there, you know, I'd go with any boy downstairs, hit a pool table and stuff. We would talk and play pool and stuff, but you could tell this guy, he was just an intellectual man. He just. Grimaldi, that's his last name. Vinnie Grimaldi. Italian. I wonder if I could find him on fucking. He wouldn't be on social media. <laughs> Guy's probably living in fucking uh, Washington State. Big mountainous fucking home. Wife, kids. Probably an inventor of different things. I don't know. It's like me, it wasn't the family stuff. Tomorrow's Monday, what am I gonna fucking do? <clears throat> now that I fixed the show problem, I got another fucking do. a fucking state trooper right in the fight of one. Fuck right there. They get speeders. Where the fuck are they today, eh? Yeah? I don't know. that bottle of rain -X I should put on the windshield. Sometimes the wipers don't work. The fucking rear too. Always blowing a fucking fuse. I don't know, bad connection, bad motor. Who gives a fuck, you know what I'm saying? My concern right now would be uh, for about two more weeks, make an appointment to get inspected. Go through that fucking game again. And you gotta keep putting miles on it to to knock out the fucking digits. You know, check engine light. Get that done, then I'll change the fucking oil and filter. <clears throat> then I'm ready for the fucking winter. Inspection, oil and filter. Fucking rear brakes. Yeah, I didn't see that leaking in the front, so I guess I'll be alright with that. Ready if Lewis hold it up. I don't know. Yeah, I got my Air Force, uh, Air Force Blue pants on. I'm sorry, I keep talking about these fucking pants, but I love them. These Dickies work pants, or old man pants. They're just so fucking comfortable, roomy. 
even though it'll last for fucking forever. Now I don't smell the food anymore. Look at Scotty. Now I feel bad for the guy, you know? <clears throat> he lost his fucking girlfriend. She would have been by since Friday fucking morning when I didn't see her. Day Sunday afternoon. She would have been fucking by. Not like she works full time. Something happened. She hightailed it out of here. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe she fucking woke up or, or he woke up. <laughs> Maybe it's just time, you know. They fucking been together and broke up five fucking times that I know of. Hey, either it's gonna work out or it ain't, you know. Pick one. I don't know. Nice fucking... Nice day. No wind, sunny, dry. Fucking asshole. She'd be cutting off fucking grass. I got money problems. Fucking trees still laying in the back you didn't cut. Three fucking months. It's a piece of change right there. It cuts that up. What, 20 fucking bucks? 25 bucks? Cut up that fucking tree and dispose of it? Fucking money. Breakfast every fucking morning. Per week, he makes about the same money as a, some kid with a fucking paper route. Cable TV, fucking buying meals out, breakfast every morning. He's got a fucking wardrobe you wouldn't un you wouldn't believe. Wouldn't fucking believe. How many fucking shirts, pants, hats, fucking jackets, coats. He's got a beautiful fucking rain raincoat. I saw like a nice thick black one. Like got any problems? Should we use my rent? Twenty bucks. Yeah, you're still paying fucking less than everybody else. brother comes, picks him up, takes him out. His friend Joe picks him up, takes him out. His fucking brother brings his medication. He says you don't pay for medication. Medicare's paying. Fuck you. I gotta pay for my fucking Medicare. How the fuck is that? Guy never paid fucking taxes in his life. He works off the fucking books 61 fucking years and he gets free prescription drugs through Medicare. Hello? Hello? I pay $150 a fucking month for my fucking Medicare. Part B. I pay $110 for my secondary insurance. <clears throat> A month. Fucking free. The, uh, my secondary, the, uh, prescription drug plan, each year, come January 1st, I think they pay, uh, I don't know, it's like, $110 towards your prescription drugs and then when that runs out you're on your fucking own I don't know Fucking 
quarter to two. What am I still thinking about going for a drive? I ain't going to fucking Oneana. Gonna fucking shave today. I was gonna do a haircut, but <laughs> he's home. You know, I wear the apron, and then I go out to shake it off. So I fucking need him opening the door. I'm fucking do it. It's gonna vacuum, but. Uh, Scotty's here. I don't know if he was sleeping, but he's here. Yeah, have a nice supper tonight. That's a good idea. Uh, mashed potatoes, fucking gravy. Jeez, I haven't had that in fucking years. It's a fucking crap in the jaw. It's not like, you know, when your mother makes gravy? That's gravy. Don't start getting into that, Frankie. Don't start getting into that. You can't go back. You, can, you go back in your mind, but you can't. Your taste buds won't, you know what I mean? It ain't the same. Jeez, uh, October, a couple of months. I have another fucking birthday. I remember how old I'm gonna be. Let's see, I retired at 66. Yeah. At least I'm still in my 60s, you know what I'm saying? Just get so fucking bored, man. Whew. You know, maybe if they didn't have that carnivora, what do you call that fucking, what do you call that? Carnivora? Corvus? COVID, that's the word. If they didn't have COVID, you didn't have to wear a mask and fucking temperatures and wash your fucking hands. Maybe I would have, uh, maybe. Stop by my old uh, stomping grounds, say hello to some people, some of my old cronies. There's only a. Uh... I saw Bill. He was... Hey, man. I said, so he says, well, he sees me. He helped me a lot. I, I gotta say. I gotta say. Paperwork, you know, when I was in the fucking hospital as a patient and brought my Jeep home and. Bought me a shaving, shaving kit, you know, present. When I was fucking retiring, and uh, they had beets and soda, and uh, they had a fucking hat. His father even liked me. His father maybe gave me a fucking hat. Always asked about me. I've seen they uh, sit down diagnostics uh, to get a fucking test, and I, I go sit next to him and fucking talk to him. And, uh, Him, Paul, Henry, Judy, if anybody gets. Jerry, the guy who came to our Palmer because they fucking booted him out. The fucking kids that work there, new ones, old ones. <laughs> don't care to see them because you know what? They don't have a fucking clue. They didn't pay their fucking dues and they never will. They go to fucking college. I think I fucking stayed here. Two o'clock, eh, about another hour I'll have supper. Yeah, I ate supper at three o'clock. Look at that fucking axle. It's in the house. Yeah, I'll put those blades in the toolbox. 
one of my fucking tools. I got a lot of tools. I got some things, you know. The fucking storage. I don't have a garage to put them in, you know. I have to buy a fucking house to get a garage. Or buy a garage. You buy a garage, they usually come in a house, you know. For my fucking self. Jeez, I wish I could have the fucking American dream. Like everybody else, man. A wife. A house. Why can't I get that, man? I don't know, is it the mustache? Is it the color fucking blue? What is it? I should start up a YouTube fucking channel. Another YouTube channel. I can title it, uh, please, please date me or some shit. The fucking women only. Or even a female dog, you know? Frankie's dating, dating show. And I'll go out on a date with a woman and, uh, do a video on it and, uh, couple of women a month and by the end of the month we'll have a contest and you people could write in and you know pick the one for me the one with the most votes uh, you know. it's fucking waiting for winter to hit it's coming man it's fucking coming I don't know maybe I'll uh See about painting behind the sink tomorrow, or maybe I'll take a ride to Penny's to see if they got the uh, thick flannel shirts. And I don't want fucking tractor supply. I had a couple from them, but they they're strong. They're made well and they're cheap, about seventeen dollars a shirt, but they don't fucking fit right. I don't know. I guess we'll call it a day, yeah? <laughs> Any of you lonely ladies out there, you want to talk to me? Like, share, and subscribe. Send me a message, I'll talk to you. <laughs> I'm just fucking tired, I'm sorry. Keep him sharp. <laughs>